We're going to take a look at the Under Armour UA Flow Velocity Wind uh, today after a couple runs. It's a completely new initiative after three years of development at Under Armour and 11,000 miles of testing. So this is a unique geometry with the midsole being a single piece and integral to the outsole, which is also the midsole. The geometry was, de was uh, developed with lots of data mapping. As you can see here at the heel, you have a round landing pod, a bit of a swallowtail, and up front you have metatarsal pads uh, and intricate sculpting. Um, it's a Dow olefin based compound, so uh, it has a low compression set. And in my runs in the cold, very cold even, uh, I see no uh, difference in the soft ride here. The stack height is 2618, so that's an 8 millimeter drop, and they will be priced at $160. Now let's take a look at the upper. The upper is what UA calls warp, so it's a very elaborate engineered mesh upper with the blue threads that are threaded in, locking down the foot at the rear, the pink uh, longitudinally acting as sort of uh, seat belts, as do the gray, which are uh, essentially the gray bands are knit are knit in and then threads above kind of lock them to the very very sheer inner uh, mesh. You can see how airy it is and also we have a gusseted tongue. The tongue is moderately padded and very comfortable. The toe box has a fairly firm uh, very front of the toe bumper and that may affect some of the sizing. So I've taken them out for two runs here in the winter cold of New Hampshire both kind of moderately slow paces, and I'm gonna give you my uh, impressions from the run, fit, and comparisons. So let's talk about the ride of our flow velocity wind. And it, I've done two runs now, both uh, lower, slower daily training paces. So this is a soft ride, but there's plenty of cushion and plenty of stability, but it is very soft. And of course we know that there is no outsole in the mix, just this high rebound, uh, fairly dense, but very soft uh, olefin-based foam from uh, Dow. So what that gives you is a very seamless kind of feel on the road. Um, there's no harshness. The shoe is extremely silent, probably the most silent shoe I've ever run in. So the first words that came to mind when I was out the door yesterday on the first run was, it's like a moccasin. So very stealth and feel. Um, I didn't find them particularly responsive or poppy at, at my slower paces, just very pleasant um, and moved along very smoothly. Our midsole geometry is excellently uh, implemented. Um, at the heel, this round area that sort of reminds of the uh, older hover, um, sonic hover, um, gives you a nice stable landing. There's no bottoming out. Uh, we have eight millimeter drop, so that's a bit different than say the Beacon or uh, the Hoka Mac. You transition very smoothly, all, seamlessly to the forefoot. And then just as smoothly you toe off. I'd like to see a little more pop out of the forefoot. Personally, um, the shoe is has a long flex. There's UA designed it so there are no lever arms or sharp flex points. That, of course, also contributes to the smoothness uh, that I felt. Now, uh, the upper held me just fine. I was a cent a half size up um, from my normal size. So on the left, uh, that's my wider foot. And they felt almost a bit short, whereas my narrower um, right foot felt just about right, if a bit loose. Um, I do think that um, for a wider foot or a higher volume forefoot, this um, toe bumper, which is a bit stiff and a bit pointy, um, would make me think that uh, folks should size up half a size. Let's talk a bit about the grip and the outsole performance of this Midsole is out soil. Well, I ran on a dry pavement, sand over pavement, the gravel side shoulders, and the grip is absolutely outstanding. And of course, super quiet, this quote, outsole. Um, those little 
geometries really grip just about anything and you can see no stones accumulated i think um that the shoe would be excellent on a gravel type uh, road conditions um, all those protrusions and and shapes just really mold to whatever's underfoot um, so i'm going to say the grip here is excellent remains to be seen as we test the durability um, but ua put 11,000 miles of testing into this shoe so i'm confident that it'll be more than acceptable so what what is uh ua under armor doing here with this shoe well they're setting out and they set out and i think they've achieved an eight ounce shoe that has a 26 18 stack eight millimeter drop so relatively low in stack height um that's very well cushioned it's bouncy it's not as bouncy as the fuel cell um, foam and say the TC or the Rebel or the springy stuff in the Invincible Run but it's a much more kind of lower to the ground agile feel with plenty of cushion. Um, the Olefin infused UA f uh, Flow Foam has what's called low compression set that means that it, it returns uh, its form rapidly and I definitely could feel that. Uh, I haven't yet uh, taken them up to kind of faster paces um, but I suspect that they'll be uh, just fine. But this is not, say, the, the uh, springy uh, feel of a shoe that has uh, plentiful forefoot rubber or a distinct flex point. I might compare them most closely to the Mach 4 from Hoka. The Mach 4 weighs almost exactly the same at 8 ounces, but has a greater stack height of 29, 24. So it's a more cushioned, maybe more versatile shoe. It doesn't feel quite as agile as it relies on a rocker. Uh, a shoe that it also reminds me of are the earlier Freedoms. Uh, not the Freedom 4, which is now kind of a much more stable shoe with a lot of outsole rubber, but the earlier ones that were sort of free and easy uh, shoes that kind of uh, go with the flow as they say however here we have softer bouncier cushion i think um, another one and i may be wrong about this that reminds me somewhat of is the brooks pure flow of many years ago i can't quite recall how it ran but in some ways this sort of feels similar in terms of how it flows along um, along the road yes it can be a daily trainer if you want to sort of um, lower stack well cushioned bouncy ride that's that's really soft and easy going um, no question uh, it also would make a good recovery shoe if you like a shoe that's softer but not super highly cushioned it's plenty stable i found i do wish maybe maybe for a bit more width of profile here with this soft uh, foam, soft dish foam, and I'll show you. It's pretty soft, but not ridiculously soft. Um, for a touch more uh, stability, but it is still plenty stable for an eight ounce shoe. So we're gonna have a full multi-tester review real soon of the UA Under Armour Flow Velocity Wind. Um, it's $160, which gives pause a bit, but this is a pinnacle shoe, as they say with just a spectacular upper and a very intriguing ride that uh, for some should be just uh, wonderful. Um, it's available now. We're gonna have our full multi-tester review real soon at Road Trail Run. Thank you very much for watching.